The bat-eared fox is an inquisitive little mammal, with ears that can be up to 5 inches long, barely popping out over the short grass. But the role of these enormous dish-like ears might not be as obvious as you think. In fact, their ears are so outstanding, that they're named after them twice. The scientific name translates to ear dog, or big ears. If you enjoy this content, and would like to see more, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. When in a pair or a group, bat-eared foxes nibble each other with their front teeth, which is their way of greeting and showing affection to others. This is the most common social behavior in terms of frequency and duration, and helps maintain bonds between the individuals. Bat-eared foxes are considered the only truly insectivorous canid, with a marked preference for harvester termites, which can constitute 80 to 90% of its diet. They use their ears to listen out for subterranean termites and insects to diet on, but will also eat wild fruit or eggs. The bat-eared fox has a disjointed range of distribution across the arid and semi-arid regions of eastern and southern Africa. It can be found from southern Sudan, Ethiopia, and Somalia, through Uganda and Kenya to southwestern Tanzania. They are commonly found in short grasslands, as well as the more arid regions of the savannas, along woodland edges, and in open acacia woodlands. It prefers bare ground in areas where grass is kept short by grazing ungulates. It tends to hunt in these short grass and low shrub habitats. However, it does venture into areas with tall grasses and thick shrubs to hide when threatened. When a jackal, hyena or falcon passes by a den, a mother with cubs will jump up and let out a soft woof as a warning. The pups then rush back into the den and wait for the danger to pass. When faced with a potential predator, bat-eared foxes curve their backs up, curl their tails and let out a growl or a high-pitched bark as a warning. If it gets too close, they can spring into the air, stiff-limbed, landing on their hind legs first, much like a gazelle. This leaping is called pronking, or stotting, and is very uncommon in canids. There are no major threats to bat-eared fox populations and they are largely considered a useful control of termites, which are seen as pests. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you found it interesting. Check out this next video on the strongest animals on earth. Have a great day and stay tuned for more videos on wildlife.